cardiologists and heart experts. What are the best precautions young people can take to avoid heart problems later in life? I've been a cardiologist for over 15 years, working mostly with adult patients, but a significant part of my job involves educating younger people on how to protect their hearts for the long haul. It's interesting how many heart problems we see that start from habits formed early in life, sometimes decades before symptoms ever show up. One patient's story stuck with me for a long time. He was in his late 40s when he came in for a routine checkup, but it quickly became clear there were some serious issues. His cholesterol was sky high, his blood pressure dangerously elevated, and an early stage of coronary artery disease was showing up on his tests. What made this case stand out was how young he was compared to many others with similar conditions. When I sat down with him to discuss his history, I learned that he'd been overweight most of his life, had an exercised much and ate a diet full of processed foods and sugary drinks since he was a kid. He'd smoked in his 20s and early 30s and rarely went to the doctor until his symptoms started to appear. The wake-up call was sudden and scary, a mild heart attack that landed him in the hospital. After that, he made big changes, but the damage was already done. That experience made me reflect on how crucial it is for young people to build heart-healthy habits early before the risks accumulate silently over the years. In my work, I often see young adults underestimate the importance of lifestyle choices, thinking heart disease is something to worry about only when they're older. But the reality is the foundation for heart health is laid early. High cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes don't just appear overnight. They develop gradually, often starting in childhood or adolescence. Another patient I remember was a teenage athlete who came in for a pre-participation physical. He was otherwise healthy, but had a family history of heart disease that made me take a closer look. We ran a few tests and found a genetic condition that put him at risk for sudden cardiac arrest during intense exercise. Early detection in his case allowed us to take precautions that saved his life. Stories like these remind me how important it is for young people to get regular checkups and be aware of their family history. Sometimes there are hidden risks that won't show any symptoms until something serious happens. Over the years, I've seen patterns emerge. Smoking is still one of the biggest contributors to early heart problems. It damages the blood vessels and speeds up the buildup of plaques in the arteries. Even exposure to secondhand smoke has harmful effects. Patients who quit smoking often tell me it was the hardest thing they ever did but it's also the most powerful step they took toward protecting their heart. Diet is another major factor. I've worked with young people who grew up eating a lot of fast food, sugary drinks, and snacks loaded with salt and unhealthy fats. Over time, these habits lead to weight gain and metabolic issues that put strain on the heart. On the flip side, I've seen patients who started making healthier food choices in their 20s and 30s and managed to keep their heart risk factors low well into middle age. Physical activity is a huge piece of the puzzle. It helps control weight, lower blood pressure, and improve cholesterol levels. But I often hear from young people that they feel too busy or tired to exercise regularly. In reality, even moderate activity like walking, biking, or swimming for 30 minutes a day makes a big difference. Stress, sleep, and mental health also play a role in heart health. I've seen young patients with high stress jobs or poor sleep habits develop high blood pressure early on. The connection between mental well-being and the heart is increasingly recognized. Patients who take care of their mental health often find their overall cardiovascular risk improves too. In the clinic, I try to emphasize that heart disease prevention isn't about perfection. It's about consistent, sustainable habits. Small changes over time add up. Quitting smoking, eating more vegetables and whole grains, staying active, managing stress, and seeing a doctor regularly all work together to keep the heart healthy. The stories of my patients, especially the younger ones, reinforce how critical it is to start early. Waiting until symptoms appear or a crisis hits makes the journey tougher and the risks greater. Seeing young people take control of their heart health is one of the most rewarding parts of my job. Watching a patient come in for a follow-up after making lifestyle changes and seeing their blood pressure improve or their cholesterol drop is inspiring. It reminds me why this work matters. That patient who had the mild heart attack in his 40s, after years of managing his condition, changing his diet, quitting smoking and exercising regularly, he's still doing well in his 50s. His story is a cautionary tale, but also a hopeful one, showing that even after mistakes, the heart can benefit from care and attention. Heart health isn't something to take lightly, no matter your age. The foundation built in youth carries through a lifetime. And sometimes it's those early steps that make all the difference when it comes to how the story ends.